Welcome to this video. Playing Maradona. This is Iceland. No, Orland Islands. Yeah, I keep forgetting that. Yeah, this guy is playing the, the King's Indian. Let's play the, the Arvobuck. Okay, it's going with Knight d7. Yeah, this is one of those. Oh, Queen d7. Interesting. Quickly. Trying to get in f5. Yeah, interesting. If I castle long here. Yeah, why not? Come on, castle long. f4, bishop h4, I still get back to f2. You don't want to allow him to trade the dark squared bishop easily. This is why I go bishop h4, so that I have bishop f2 in case of a bishop f6 move. Yeah, black here has closed the, the king side, but not um, because he's playing uh, for an attack, but yeah, I really cannot tell you why. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's very good. Um, but um, what I'm getting at is, um, I'm still going to play on the queen side it just takes a takes a moment to set up here before will come eventually and black is not really able to to get a kingside attack going he can try for counterplay like he's doing but it's not a kingside attack that will ultimately arrive it's rather counterplay against the f3 pawn for example um if i take he will play f3, yeah? No, not a good idea. Uh, I wonder still if I'm... Hmm, b4... I can actually play b4 immediately. Yeah, come on. Let's do that. Very complicated stuff. Knight a4, I take with the bishop and rook a1. That's not a good a good move. And here I thought rook a1 to have the, the pin. Uh, he might still initiate counterplay with queen h5. Hmm. But okay, b5 is, is a threat for the moment. So it's not clear if he can really play directly on the yeah this is this is probably probably right um, hmm complicated yeah maybe i mistimed the whole the whole procedure here hard to say Knight b5, I can still take and play this this annoying queen h5 move. Not sure. Maybe I can really play queen c3 to cover that. Ah yeah, okay, so he's coming, he's starting with the move. Queen c3. Hmm, queen d3 is not possible, unfortunately. And this looks kind of weird. I hope um, I'm not overlooking something here. Interesting. So what now? Hmm. Yeah, knight g5 is coming. <sighs> Die, what a strange game. Um, yeah, I don't know. F3, knight g3. That counterplay got... got uh, very serious quickly. Yeah, I thought queen f3 would be okay, but maybe he just retreats the queen. I'm not sure that any 
that capturing here is so great. Yeah, okay, let's do it. What I originally had planned with all this operation, this uh, this exchange sec to get to C7. Of course, F3 hangs, but I cannot really play any slow moves and shuffle around. Rook takes knight c7 is downright good for me. And pawn takes knight c7. I thought that maybe the pawn the pawn um, mass here can help me. Um yeah, bishop bishop to b6, I guess. And then c5. Of course, this is um <clears throat> this is like yeah, born out of uh, necessity, nothing that uh, was envisioned beforehand. I had this idea of the exchange sec, but okay, let's uh, Time be, be, warning. Quick, be quick here and establish the pawn or not. I can also attack here, attack b5. Is dangerous. Those pawns are dangerous. His, his bishop is pretty useless in this position. He moves the rook <clears throat> like on the yeah, yeah, he has to give back stuff. Bishop arriving on f5 is uh, is very important. <clears throat> yeah, bishop h4. Wow. Okay, but 19 seconds. I might make this check. Maybe. Check. 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 Very check close. Mate. Very close. Whew. Oh, what the heck? Boah. That was tough. That was tough. I have no idea here. I mean, he got this. I mean, I really made. I know. I know. I know. I made one very, very substantial mistake, and this is here. Here. What? What was a huge mistake? I should definitely play h3 sometime. I allowed this to happen, and here instead of a move like king, king, um, 
uh, b2 or something, I should play this so that after a g5 I have this. And this is a totally different thing because when he wants to get in g4 he has to spend this kind of moves and this is a big difference as then the h file is open and so on. This is a, a, a totally different and then I really have some better chances on the queen side. It's uh, it's very complicated. I'm not saying uh, he's he's in terrible shape or anything, but this is what I need to do. This counterplay was arriving so quickly, uh, very difficult. And I didn't want to play passive moves, defensive moves. Maybe I need need to. I mean, this 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 seems seems to really not work. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't think that I was in any any good shape here. What exactly is the comp giving here? Yeah, just an edge for black. Pretty substantial, and here it's a it's a win. Queen g6 is stronger with knight g5 coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Knight g5 and uh, well, this is at least interesting. It is. Uh, it's not sufficient, but it uh, it sets problems definitely for black. Yeah, it's hard to. Ah, interesting. Bish after bishop b5, the the engine stockfish already gives gives white um, compensation with this bishop d3 and compensation like zero <laughs> is zero evaluation. That's that's curious. Yeah, okay, it's it's a matter of uh, of time probably to get a decent evaluation, like something zero 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 is hard to believe. I mean, it should be good for someone. <laughs> I don't know. After bishop f8, it this is a win for white. Yeah, the pawns are too strong. I, I probably I missed some some quicker wins, but um, yeah, I should force those through immediately, probably, and don't even allow this. But okay, it's a win. I'm just a piece up here, and uh, of course this was already close to pre-move territory. But I think I Check. I kept stuff together, and uh, while I overlooked some things, Check. it was always a win. And, uh, well, six seconds. This was very, very, very close. Whew. Okay, thanks for watching.